down, it's your boy Spidey, and today I wanted to bring y'all five pro tips that I've learned over the course of playing Modern Warfare for about the past, what, two months, and uh, I believe I have some very good tips for y'all, and if y'all guys use these tips in your gameplay, I 100% guarantee you, you guys will improve, so let's get into it. Alright, so for the first tip I want to teach y'all, it's bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is super effective in this game. It's a huge camera advantage. If you bunny hop around a corner, I promise you, they will not know what's coming. You'll win the gunfight, honestly, 9 out of 10 times if you hit your shot. Basically how you bunny hop in this game is you want to be able to double sprint. So basically you double sprint around a corner, you spam that jump button, and the second you hit the ground, make sure you're spamming it, and you'll do another, you do another hop just like that. That one was perfect. Basically, it carries your momentum forward, and you're able to just fucking slide around it. Um, it is super OP from the other perspective. I mean, it looks insane. Um, you definitely want to be doing this in your GB, your wagers, even even in pubs. If you do this in pubs, these pub stars will be absolutely confused. They'll be like, yo, this kid's a god. I promise you, if you bunny hop, it'll make you ten times better. You want to challenge everything around a corner with a B hop. Never just want to slow peek a corner. Never slow peek a corner. If you slow peek a corner and somebody's holding that angle, you just it's, let's say somebody's holding this angle right here, and I just go like this, I'm gonna get fucking blasted. In this game, you have to have your gun always up. Like, if someone's pre-aiming a corner and you don't jump around the corner or B hop it, I mean you're dead. You can't you can't just you can't just chow and fucking expect not to die if he's pre-aiming because in this game you die super fucking quick and you have to figure out a way around to not you have to get first bullet in this game you have to get first bullet you have to hit your shots i mean uh there's ways you know when people potato you can turn on people and shit like that but it is super hard in this game i mean look at that i'm playing on 100 health and i mean kids are getting dropped in two three bullets with an mp5 it is just absolutely insert but i promise you if you bunny hop Kids will not know what's coming at you, and you will win the gunfight 9 out of 10 times. Alright, for the second tip I'm going to bring y'all is centering. Centering is super important in Call of Duty in general. You don't want to be walking around with your gun aimed to the floor. You don't want to be walking around with your gun to the sky. Because then what? What if you turn the corner and he's there? Oh, you have to snap on him. And you, what if you have potato aim? Then you're like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? You're going to lose the gunfight 9 out of 10 times. If you're coming around the corner with your gun down, you know what I'm saying? Always make sure this little center, uh, this little dot in the center of your screen is right in the middle. You don't want it too high up, you don't want it too high down. You want to be looking straight ahead, just just like this. So when you turn the corner, it's already on him. It's already on the top part of his chest. So when you shoot, the recoil will honestly pop up and you'll definitely get that headshot just like that. And headshots in this game are so key. You want to hit your headshots. Headshot multiplier is absolutely insane in this game you'll kill in one to two less bullets and uh that's definitely what you want you know what i'm saying you don't want to be shooting the legs because you know it'll take way longer to shoot the legs than someone who has good centering and is shooting you in the body but basically you just always want to keep that center dot always in the center of your screen always look at that if you just have good centering it's so easy you don't have to have good accuracy if you have good centering honestly if you have good centering you just let the, the gun do itself honestly like accuracy is important but if you have centering it makes it a hundred times easier all right so for the next tip i have for y'all is just game awareness in general you want to have really good game awareness you want to have your headset cranked when you're playing these GBs, wagers, and tourneys, you wanna you wanna have good teammates that have good information, and most importantly, you wanna have good information. Uh, you wanna if you don't know the callouts, you gotta learn them. You gotta sit in a private match and figure out these callouts, or you know watch pro vods and you know learn what they're calling out, kind of learn what they're doing, kind of learn like uh, the routes they're taking and what kind of like positions they're getting in to take certain gunfights. Um, you definitely want to have good mini-map awareness. You want to know where your teammates are at, what they're looking at, um, what you should be looking at. Game awareness is super, super big in this game. If you have good game awareness and you're you're one step ahead of the enemy, that just makes it so much easier to kill the next person. And when you when you're one step ahead of someone, that's a big deal in a in a GB or a wager. Like you really want to be, you really want to have all the awareness that you can get. You want to know exactly where people are shooting from. 
you want to you want to really be cranking your headset. You, footsteps in this game is soup. It is so big. You are an elephant when you're walking around, especially when you're double sprinting. I mean, you are loud as fuck. So you want to make sure you have that headset cracked. So when you're, you know, you're sitting in A, you can hear them all the way in B. You want to have good, good awareness. You want to know exactly where the enemy's coming from. You want to, you want to have good predictions. You know, if your teammates are holding three different angles, then and then you know you don't have to hold that angle, so you can go hold another angle and predict that they're going to be there because they're not challenging your teammates because your teammates, you know, they're not shooting anyone. You know what I'm saying? So you really, you really want to have, you really want to have good predictions, good map awareness. You want to know the map really well. You want to sit in a private match and learn just nutty spots. You want to, you want to be a nerd at this game, basically. You want to, you want to know the nuttiest spot, the nuttiest angle you can hold. You want to know that you can hold some random ass angle like this that the other person doesn't know because when he's turning the corner, you're holding a random angle. He's not even going to check that. He's going to be checking somewhere else, and you're going to be like, oh, look here, dumbass, and you're just going to spam the fuck out of him. But when you do that, you can't, let's say you're playing S&D, and you hold, a, you hold a nice angle, and you kill the person, right? 100% of the time, he's going he's gonna to remember that angle and be like, oh, shit. So on the next round of defense, you want to make sure that, one, you're looking at that angle, too, because he might try to use that against you, and two, you can't reuse that angle because... Because next time he pushes that area and you're holding that angle, he's already going to be prepared for you. He's, he's going to already be looking at that angle because you just showed yourself. So you definitely want to switch it up. You want to have good map awareness. You want to know how to switch up things. You want to know good angles to hold. You just want to be, so you, you want to play the map all the time. You want to know the nuttiest spots, the nuttiest angles. And you want to have good centering on all these maps. So if I were you, uh, when you play pubs, fuck shoot house. I know it's fun and all that, but if I were you, I'd play hard point and just play the pro maps. If you really want to get better, it's repetition. You have to play the pro maps over and over and over and over. When you play pubs, play the pro maps. When you play GBs, you're playing pro maps. Everything you do has to be on the map that you're going to play when you know, you're know you playing for money because it's all repetition. It's all map awareness. It's all everything combined into one makes you the better player. So. Alright, so for the next tip I have for y'all is always moving, is always having your gun up. It's always just, you know, making yourself a harder target to shoot. If you're walking around the map like this, you know, taking wide angles, you're gonna get fucking blasted and you're gonna be like, why did this dude kill me? Like, I got first bullet and everything. It's because you're taking a wide bullet and you're just exposing it, your whole body. You always wanna be moving. And, and when I be, when I say moving, it's, it's like this, you know what I'm saying? Keep, make yourself a hard target to shoot. And, but, but that doesn't mean double sprint around the whole map, because then, when you're double sprinting, it takes so long to pull up your gun compared to someone who's already, you know, walking or pre-aiming. So my advice would be, you know, turn corner, B-hop, aim in, B-hop, pre-aim, or, or even chow, you know what I'm saying? This is a good idea. Let's say he's right there. Chow, you know what I'm saying? If you know exactly where he's at, you know, boom. Make yourself a hard target. Always be quick. Always be the next step. You can't be a sloth in this game. This game is way too fast paced, way too quick to die. You always have to be moving. Always move. Slide, slide. You know what I'm saying? Get around these corners. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's right there. Boom. You know what I'm saying? You always have to be a hard target to shoot. You always want to be moving. Always pre-aiming around these corners because if you get caught with your gun up, Oh, you're dead. You're dead in a pub, you're dead in a wager, you're dead in this game. You are dead if you're just running around the map like this. So I promise you it's always good. So when you turn a corner, let's say you're double sprinting, turn the corner and b-hop it, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Turn the corner and b-hop it. You know, pre-aim. Turn the corner and, and instant chow. Turn the corner and have your gun up, you know what I'm saying? That way you're not caught with your pants down because you know when you're caught with your pants down you're not gonna win the gunfight I'm sorry all right so for tip four I have for y'all is shouldering and getting really good information for your teammates to call out basically shouldering is you know peeking out that shoulder going like this you know going like this trying to get information you know what I'm saying you want you want to eliminate where they're at let's say there's that angle to hold that angle to hold and that angle to hold you want a shoulder, you want to go bang, okay, so he's not in there, so you're going to eliminate that off, 
Dude, shouldering that, he's not there. Okay, boom, let's check the ne next angle, you know what I'm saying? Okay, he's not there. Boom, let's check the next angle. Shouldering is very important, because if you do shouldering really good, and the enemy sees you and shoots at you, 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 you won't die, because you're not, because you're not wide-angling, and then he's shooting at you and then coming back, because then you're going to die 9 out of 10 times. If you just get that shoulder peak off, oh, okay, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? And when you see, let's say you, you shoulder, and you see, and you see him holding an angle, don't reach out, okay, unless you know you can win the gunfight, don't reach out, don't be an idiot. Just, just get the information, get the shoulder off, and back up. Call it out for your teammates, and then set up a play to, you know, kill that kid, and, uh, you know, get around the map easier. Alright, so for the final tip, it's going to be sensitivity. Sensitivity is very important. Being comfortable in your sensitivity, being comfortable in your accuracy, being comfortable in your shot. If I were y'all guys, I'll go into a private match just like I'm doing, and shoot bots so your hands are bleeding. Make sure you have a good sensitivity. Make sure the sensitivity you're playing on is comfortable. I've seen pros play from 4-4 to like anywhere from 8-8. I play on 6-6.9, and I love it. I've been playing like this since the game came out, and that's why my accuracy is honestly really good. Is because I've been playing on the same sensitivity for the past two months, and it has not changed. So I'm really comfortable with my sensitivity. I know exactly how far to move my analog stick from left to right. You know what I'm saying? You have to be really comfortable in yourself. You have to be comfortable on the controller. You have to figure out what works for you because copying other players' pro sensitivities is, isn't going to help you. Yeah, it's going to give you a good baseline of where to be at, uh, where to, you know, how fast you want to be, how slow you want to be. But in all reality, it becomes up to your personal preference. It becomes up to what you're comfortable with. Go into private match, shoot bots so your hands are bleeding. Make sure that accuracy is sharp as ever. Make sure you're fucking absolutely melting these bots before you go into a pub, before you go into a GB, before you do anything. You want to make sure that you are very comfortable in yourself. Because if you're comfortable in yourself, you don't have to second guess yourself. You, It's just all muscle memory. It's all just just doing it, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to think about it, you just do it. And that is very important in this game, and that's honestly very important in life. So yeah, that's it for the tips today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. Um, it, would, it would be very much appreciated. Um, I'm trying to start out this YouTube grind. I fucking, I've always loved COD since the day I was fucking born. I've been playing games since fucking O2, baby. You already know. So, hopefully I can keep bringing out more videos for y'all, keep grinding, keep growing my channel. And if y'all guys like to stream, like to watch streams, my bad, um, check the link down in the description. Follow, follow my uh, Twitch. I like to live stream all of my GBs, my wagers sometimes, and uh, my tournaments. And if y'all guys watch, you know, VODs and pro gameplay, and let's say you're watching my stream, you can easily pick up on stuff that you maybe didn't know before, and that makes you just one step of a better player than the than the player you're playing against, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully y'all guys enjoyed the video. If y'all guys want more pro tips, I can keep bringing them at you. I have endless pro tips to bring y'all. And uh, have a good day, boys. Peace.